Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to install this new Rhino Rack rooftop tent bracket. This is the new version. I made a video of the, the previous mounting brackets, which you can have a look on the link up here somewhere. I'm gonna unbox this. Let's have a look inside. Let's cut that open here. A warranty registration card, manual, two crossbars. So you got your brackets there, your channel nuts and bolts. And you got a couple of runner rack swift locks, a 13 mil socket. The plan is we need to drill two holes on each crossbar. So these two holes need to match the distance of the two holes inside your rooftop tent that is holding the rails below. I won't go into details. Rhino Rex instructions will give you some guidance on how to do the measurements precisely. I've got my seven mil hole drilled through in here now on each end. I'm gonna do the other, the other crossbar now. You guys don't have to, to watch this. So I'm just gonna skip that part. I've got Fiona to give me some help screwing in the bolts for these crossbars here. I am 1.55 cm tall. This is our second time doing this. So we have done it before. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Just to prove the point, there's a few tips that we're gonna give you along the way. So follow us and we're gonna show you how we're gonna put this up, just with the two of us. And I don't go to gym. Okay, so we've got all four brackets installed so you got one here so if I've, I've hand tightened it so you can easily slide it to whichever position that you need so there's one on the other side there and there's one down there and we've got one here as well is to um, slide the whole rooftop tent onto this and then we'll push it up to the roof of the jeep so let's um, It's more than 70 kilos. This tent tends to be bigger, wider. Maybe it's actually heavier, but we were struggling a bit. Plus it's actually very hot today. Well, we managed to get it up there. So now David is just gonna do the final adjustments onto the Rhino Rack itself, and then we'll centralize it. But we're just glad we got it up there. It was such a big mission just to get up there. I've got a bit of timber here to raise the rooftop tent up so I have some space to access below so all four of these brackets on the platform needs to be repositioned originally I had it out here but the crossbar wasn't long enough to reach it that far so I have to move it to the second inner channel then we can bolt it on 
to this bracket here. And there's one more thing that we didn't put in is, let me get the chair. Oh, actually, I'll just come up here. If you can see the end of those crossbars, so it comes with a lockable cap. With our setup, it won't fit at the end because there's not enough space. The only way was to trim down the end of the crossbar so that this will fit. So I'm just going to leave this out. This, this is just an extra security. The time now is 5.31. It took us the whole afternoon to put this rooftop tent up. The lifting wasn't that bad. The actual difficulty was the screws. The screws the bolts, as in bolts where we need to position and then we measure exactly half because we have different opinions of how centralized it is. So we actually do the measurement. Um, not that we are OCD, actually we are a bit. Anyways, but to get the nuts and bolts into position was the hard thing. And then because the gap is so little, it's so hard to screw it in. Like even now, it's not fully like secured yet. We're gonna go Bunnings, get some, what is it that you need I to need get? I need to get a X. Extension, extension, uh, extension for the socket to, yeah. to reach in there to tighten the, one of the yeah. some of the bolts. But in terms of how it looks, it looks much, much better than the last one that we have. So the gap is actually very, very tight now. So it looks much better. Uh, there's a few casualties that we incurred. David got a little scratch on his nose because... Do I? Yeah, look at yourself. There's a little blood. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then That's when I was trying to pull one of the ruler out from underneath and I actually stabbed myself with the ruler. And um, that's, I think my fingers were, were a bit crushed like in between because we are not ready when we actually put a little stick in between when David tries to move it. So my hand was caught like not a lot, like it's not crushed, it's not broken. But it, it, it actually hurts when it happened, but yeah. That's pretty much it. It's up there now. So if we can do it, you can do it. Um, now we are going to test drive and see how the rooftop tent holds down with the new bracket. That's it for this video. Click on the like button if you like this video and leave a comment below. If you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. So Fiona and I, Chewie and Leia inside the Jeep. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.